Welcome back everyone. Over the past few videos, we learned a lot about the use query hook and its configuration options when fetching data. Now, what is also pretty common with data fetching is querying by ID. For example, you have a list of items and on click of an item, you want the details of that individual item. Real world use cases include fetching details about a product on an e-commerce site, fetching details about a course, etc. In this video, let's learn how to query by ID using React Query. Now as part of this video, we need to set up some initial code before we get to the React Query bit. Let me break it down so you get the big picture. Step 1. We're going to create a new page that will eventually display the details about one single superhero. Step two, we're going to configure the route to that page and at the same time, add a link from the superheroes list page to the superheroes details page. That will allow us to navigate by clicking the hero name. For the third and final step, we will learn how to fetch a superhero by ID and display the details in the UI. In a way, this video will summarize what we have learned over the past 10 videos. Let's begin. For step 1, we create the page that will display the individual superhero details. So in the components folder, create a new file called rq superhero.js singular within the file we define and export a simple component the file name should in fact be rq superhero.page.js to maintain the standard convention so the component is rq superhero page and for now, the JSX will just be superhero details. Next, let's move on to step two, which is configuring a route to this hero details page. Let's begin by adding a route in app.js. A bit of React router knowledge is necessary, but let me explain what we are doing. Above the superheroes route, I'm going to add a new route. The path is going to be slash rq superheroes slash colon hero id. Colon hero id implies the hero id is dynamic. It could be one, two, three, and so on, but for all such paths, the same component has to be rendered. And what is that component? It is the component we have just created. RQ superhero page. Make sure to import it at the top. Now that we have the route, we need a way to navigate to this route. For that, we need to make some changes in our superheroes hook as well as the component. In use superheroes data, first I'm going to comment out the data transformation logic as we need the hero ID as well and not just the name. Next, in RQ superheroes page JSX, I'm going to comment out the JSX that renders just the name and uncomment the JSX from before which has access to the ID as well. But with this JSX, we need a small change. On click, we need to navigate to the new route passing in the hero ID. For navigation, we need the link component from the React Router package. So at the top, import link component from React Router DOM. And in the return statement, on the div tag, key can now be in fact hero.id and in between the opening and closing div tags, we include the link component. 
The children prop is going to be the hero name, so hero.name. And we specify the to prop. Curly braces, template literals, and the path is slash rq super hyphen heroes slash dollar curly braces hero dot id. Again, a bit of React Router magic, but the link component sort of behaves like an anchor tag for navigating within the app. In our case, navigating from superheroes list page to the superhero details page. Before we proceed any further, let's make sure the code we have written works as expected. In the browser, navigate to our queue superheroes. Here, click on one of the heroes. We should be navigated to the superhero details page. In the URL, you can see rq-super-heroes followed by the dynamic ID 1. That completes our step 2. And for the final step, we need to fetch details of the hero corresponding to this dynamic ID. Here's something you'll find as a pleasant surprise. With JSON server, localhost 4000 slash superheroes gives us the list of superheroes defined in db.json. Let me now tell you, without any additional configuration, JSON server also exposes a query by ID. So if we navigate to slash superheroes slash one, we get the details about the individual hero by ID. JSON server matches one with the ID property and returns only that object. Slash two, and we get back Superman. Slash three, and we get Wonder Woman. So our end goal now is to get the hero ID from the URL and pass it into the use query hook and make a request to localhost 4000 slash superheroes slash hero ID. Let's learn how to do all of that. We're going to begin by creating a new custom query hook. So in the hooks folder, create a new file called use superhero data.js. This file will contain the fetcher function as well as the use query hook. So let's add the necessary imports. Import use query from React query and import Axios from Axios. Now for the custom query hook. Export const use superhero data and this is equal to a function. Here is where we need to put our thinking hats on. Unlike use superheroes data, use superhero data is dependent on the hero ID. So we need to get that ID into this function. Pass in hero ID as a parameter. Within the function body, we still call and return use query. So return use query. Now, the first argument is a key to uniquely identify this query. Similar to superheroes, I could specify superhero. But this query is dependent on the hero ID as well. If we were to leave this as is, Hero ID equal to one cached value would be used for hero ID two, three, and so on. So what we have to do is include the hero ID as part of the query key by specifying an array. So the first argument is now an array with two elements, the string super hyphen hero and the dynamic hero ID. React query will now maintain separate queries for each hero. Now for the second argument, we specify the fetcher function. Let's call this fetch superhero. 
But this function again should accept the hero ID to fetch the appropriate hero details. So convert it into an arrow function. And this function will now accept the same hero ID. Now let's define the function. const fetch superhero will receive hero ID and we call axios.get and the endpoint is the endpoint JSON server exposes for each object in the superheroes array. So HTTP localhost port 4000 slash superheroes followed by the hero ID. Make sure to return the result. That completes our custom query hook. Let's now call it from our page component and display the hero details. Within the component, import and call use superhero data. But this hook accepts hero ID as the parameter. We need to extract that from the URL for which we need help from React Router. At the top, import use params from React Router DOM and within the component, call use params which gives us the hero ID. So const hero ID destructured from use params. This hero ID corresponds to colon hero ID in app.js. We can now pass in this ID to the custom hook. Rest of the component code is very similar to what we have seen earlier. The use superhero data hook returns a bunch of values from which we will extract only a few. So const is loading, data is error, and the error. Then in the JSX, if is loading, return an h2 tag that says loading. If there is an error, render that to the browser. And if you have the data, render data.data.name, so the hero name, and data.data.alterego. And that should do it. Let's save all the files and head back to the browser. Home page, and you can see in the dev tools, no queries are being tracked. Navigate to RQ Superheroes, and we see one query for the superheroes list. Navigate to Batman, and we see a new query where ID is set to 1. We also see Batman and Bruce Wayne being rendered. Our query by ID is working as expected. If we go back and select Superman, we now have a new query being cached. Superhero with ID 2. And this is really important. Otherwise, you would see Batman very briefly while the data is fetching in the background. Since we have hero ID as part of the query key, React Query knows Superman details haven't been fetched before and will have ease loading to true as well. Everything works as expected. Now there is one more thing I want to point out before we move on. In the custom hook, remember how we pass in hero ID to the fetcher function? Well, as it turns out, React Query automatically passes them into the fetcher function. So we can replace the arrow function with just fetch superhero. And then instead of hero ID as a parameter, the function receives various values of which we destructure query key. The query key is an array which mimics the array we have passed into use query. So hero ID is at index position one, which means we can write const hero ID 
is equal to query key at index position one. If we go back to the browser, refresh, everything still works as expected. So this is pretty much how you query by ID. Pass the ID into the custom hook, use it as part of the query key, access it in the fetcher function and call the API passing in the ID. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you're finding the videos helpful and I'll see you in the next video.